So a common myth is that people think if I'm fit, um, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing, I'm exercising, that I'm not going to get high blood pressure. And we know that that certainly helps decrease your chance to get high blood pressure, but anybody can get hypertension or high blood pressure, and sometimes it's related to um, your family history. So it's really important to always have your blood pressure checked, make sure you know your numbers, and if your pressure does get too high or you have too much pressure, take the steps to help lower your blood pressure. Hypertension or high blood pressure is a, a long-term um, condition. And so oftentimes you take the medicine, you get the blood pressure um, to come down and to be controlled, but you need to continue to take that to keep the blood pressure low. So I think a lot of times that the blood pressure measurement or the blood pressure reading you get in the doctor's office is the one that we always kind of make our decisions on. And while that's really important, there's a lot of ways now that we have to take blood pressure in other places. Sometimes at the grocery stores or at the pharmacies, there's a place where you can have your blood pressure checked. I think the important things is when you're having your blood pressure or you can get devices at home to check your blood pressure. The important thing is that you kind of have the same procedure that they use in the doctor's office. And so you should be sitting in a chair with a back. Um, you should have your arms supported, so resting, and the part that's getting the blood pressure taken should be at heart level. And you should be sitting in the seat where your blood pressure is going to be taken for five minutes. So if you're exercising or taking a walk and moving around, you don't want to come right in and take your blood pressure right away. You want to be sitting uh, quietly for five minutes before you check your blood pressure.